All right, this is going to be an interesting video, a little controversial, perhaps, perhaps, but I have to say it. So I was checking out a thread on Twitter, the dumpster fire of the uh, social media uh, platforms, uh, and I don't mean that in a disparaging way, you know, you know how it is on Twitter, it's pretty bad. Now, I'm just an observer, I do my little post about coding and so forth, but I caught this thread, and um, it was a thread where people were discussing the difficulty of learning to code. Now, this, unfortunately, has become a political issue. And essentially, the consensus on the thread was that code was very difficult to learn and that it was something very specialized for very niche people. Let me tell you something. Nothing could be further from the truth. There is this myth, this misconception that coding is super hard. Ooh, listen, I come from a background of psychology, graphic design, uh, business. I am hardly the nerd. I know I look like a nerd, but trust me, I'm not a nerd. It turns away my brain uh, processes stuff. I was able to learn how to code through tremendous effort and books and tons and tons of books. I used to spend three to four thousand dollars a year on coding books, technology related books, and I was just very persistent. I was able to do it, and let me tell you, I come from it, I'm like the opposite of uh, an engineer. Like, I'm terrible at math, as an example. Uh, you know, uh, in high school, I did grade 10 math uh, twice and failed it twice, you know, to tell you how bad it is, you know, how bad I am when, when it comes to problems of logic. But I was able to do it, and I've written a lot of code. I've written software for major uh, companies, huge uh, pharmaceuticals, and et cetera, et cetera. So coding is not that difficult to learn. Why is, there's, why is it then there is this big major misconception about how misconception about how difficult coding is the reason being and it's a pet peeve of mine and people know me for years this has been a pet peeve of mine is that most of the code courses out there are put out by script script kiddies and people who have no business trying to put out courses on code because they simply do not know how to teach right not all of them but a lot of them I would say if you tried to learn how to code and you weren't able to do it, you found it too difficult, too hard, I'd say there's a 95% chance it's not you, it's the bloody course. To pet peeve of mine, I come from a family of teachers. My father was a teacher most of his adult his career, many of my uncles, many of my cousins. And in full disclosure, if you don't know me, I've been putting out code courses and teaching code. I have a platform that schools use to teach code. So I've been doing this since 2003, you know? And um, I happen to be a software developer with experience, as I just said. So this is a personal pet peeve of mine. Not because it affects me. There's a huge market in terms of these courses. It doesn't affect me whatsoever. The problem is, is it, it hurts people. It hurts people. I used to see it in martial arts where uh, you would have these lousy uh, MMA coaches or these lousy boxing coaches, these guys who took like a, a three-month course and got a diploma or, or sometimes a, a three-weekend diploma in how to be a boxing coach or how to be the MMA coach. And then he trained these unsuspecting fighters and they get their, their butts handed to them. They get hurt in the ring because they're not being trained properly. And it's terrible. It's a terrible thing. They're putting people at risk. Now, coders, of course, if they teach you badly, they're not putting you at your risk. They're not putting you at risk. But what they are doing is putting a damper or throwing off, throwing you off something that you could actually do. I would say, I don't know what the number is, 90, 95% of the time. So don't let that myth of coding is hard to learn uh, um, infiltrate your mind. Chances are, if you were trying to learn how to code and you were having trouble, is because of lousy code courses. Here's the thing. Most of those courses out there are not courses. They call them courses, they're tutorials. There's a big difference between a tutorial, which just walks you through step by step, versus an actual course that is designed properly with proper teaching methodology that breaks down the complexity and presents it to you in a way that's understandable right? There's a big difference. 
as I tell people on this, my YouTube channel and elsewhere, once you have your fundamentals, just like what it is in boxing and martial arts and MMA, just like what it is in business and so many things, in music, once you understand the fundamentals well, then you can go and do whatever you want. So once you understand the fundamentals codings, all these tutorials that you see online that they call themselves courses, they'll be very approachable and easy. In fact, you won't necessarily need a course, you just go to the docs. So let's say you learn the basics of a particular web design and HTML, CSS, JavaScript. These are the three coding languages used uh, to build websites. To learn some more advanced aspect of web design or web programming will be pretty easy for you if you're properly trained, if you actually did a proper course in uh, those technologies, uh, those languages. So again, let me conclude. This is a personal thing for me, so I'm a little passionate about this because people, I think, are getting hurt by the, the proliferation of these lousy code courses put out by script kiddies who have no business putting out courses, um, uh, leaving a bad taste in people's mouths when they shouldn't, when they could actually be doing this. It's a shame because there's so many opportunities out there as software developers in all these different specializations that uh, they're not able to take advantage of it. Again, I'm not doing this to try to sell my courses. No, don't, don't forget about my courses. Don't, don't buy my courses. I'm doing this because it's just a personal thing for me. Don't let uh, this myth and don't let bad co-courses dissuade you from... Uh, going out there. Again, there are good ones out there, definitely are, but a lot of them are bad. Look at, you know, how do you know? Look at the age of the teacher. If they're in their 20s, chances are they're not very experienced at coding at all, first of all. They, I would say there's a 95% chance or 98% chance, 98.2% chance that they don't know anything about teaching. And so, you know, if you have an aptitude for it, you can get by with that. If you already know the basics of coding, uh, you can use these tutorials and they're very effective in that way because you can get walk through a new technology that you might want to learn. So they're good there. But if you're a total, absolute beginner, it's a land, it's, it's, a, it's a field of landmines of bad tutorial, bad courses out there, unfortunately. Again, once you have your basics, you can do any of these lousy courses. They're fine. They're not loud. They're, they're fine for people who actually have a background. But for total beginners, that's the problem. A lot of these courses are just not designed by teachers. So they don't teach. They just walk you through processes. It's not the same. Think about it. If you, if you come from a background uh, in jiu-jitsu or uh, any other martial art or boxing, or you come from a background in music, and imagine if, let's say you're just learning music, and they, they taught you music by saying, oh, we're going to learn to play five songs. That's all they taught you. And we're going to run you through the process of these five songs. They do this, they do this chord and that chord and this chord, let's say it's guitar. That's not teaching you music. That's just teaching you how to play a song, but it's not teaching you music. Teaching you music, you have to understand music, the theory, the, the, the timing, tempo, uh, chords, uh, scales, exercises, blah, 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 all these other. Same thing with coding. Most coding courses are not teaching you uh, they're not teaching. They're just doing tutorials. They're just walking you through uh, steps in a process. You learn some stuff doing that, sure. But again, if you've been had trouble, don't let uh, the reality of the situation, unfortunately, is all this proliferation of uh, script kitty courses. They're not, they're not doing the, the population uh, any good. All right, that's it for now. Ciao.